All right, little video on the Fresenius 2008T machine. If you work with this machine, then you're familiar with how it operates. But a couple quick tips today. So when setting up the machine, we're gonna plug in our acid and our bicarb. We wanna watch the acid and the bicarb and make sure when we plug it in that it's pulling up fluid. You can easily do that in the beginning by watching the bubbles. I just pulled this out, so now bubbles will come up, and you will see that this machine is working. Here we go. See how it's pulling? Another stroke. There it goes. So we're pulling bicarb, and of course I already watched we were pulling acid, so you'll see it sucking up into the machine. Easy check. First thing you do is go to the home screen and you want to change this 300 to 800. When you put it in 800, it's going to come up in conductivity quicker. Realize there are base settings on this machine. So a factory temperature setting is 37. Once you've gotten through test, you can change that for your patient, but for test, it should be in 37. And conductivity screen gives you this. So you're looking for a certain conductivity, but the base sodium should be 139 and the base bicarbonate should be 35. 140 does not hurt anything, but realize we're running a certain acid here. This is a 2K 2.5. So up here you see 2K 2.5 calcium. If I change this number too much, let's go to 145. Now I'm running a 2.1 2.6. So realize, this will not reset itself. It's not a default setting. Every time you set up for a patient, you need to make sure you're either at 139, 35, or these settings say what your bath is. If it's 3K, of course you're gonna go up here and you're gonna set it for a 3K. So once you've set your bath, it's set for 2K, now we're looking for 13.8, and we're going to be a little high because the um, wand got pulled out, but here it is coming down. So 13.8, and we're going to set the alarm position by pressing the button and putting this in the middle here. So here we are, 13.9. We want 13.8. This is TCD, Total Conductivity Desired, okay? So I'm in a 2K bath. I'm hooked up to a 2K bath. I'm set up for 2K 2.5 with my 139.35. I'm looking for 13.8. I've got 13.8. Everything's good. At that point, the machine will trigger in the beginning its first test. It will say standby for tests. So you can select tests, but first thing in the morning it'll always take its own test it'll force it just make sure high flux is on high flux is what every dialyzer we run is and we have to have high flux the machine has uh, a reason for looking for high flux so when you have this machine hooked up and it's gone through test and you're ready to use everything's completed um, we've strung our machine so we have our arterial line coming into our blood pump this is what I want to point out more than anything. This rotor in the blood pump, very critical. These lines go in and around the blood pump. These guides guide the blood through the blood pump. Now, if we want to pull this out, we need to pull the tubing a little bit with our hand. Not a lot. Okay, just a little bit. And press the button. This will rotate the guide pulling the tubing out, okay? Same, same thing if we're putting it in. So we put it in the same way. We, we set it up, and then we press the button. These guides will guide the tubing in all the way into the blood pump safely. This is critical. This is not a joke. This is critical. If we don't use the button... If we pull the tubing out on our own, we now put pressure on these guides, okay? Here is a rotor that has 
been affected by being pulled on. You can see the front face is ripped right off. This sharp piece right here can rip through this blood tubing and blood splatter everywhere easily. If you look, their guides are messed up. They're not in line. This one's loose, you see? So because we're pulling the tubing, we've messed up the guides on this and eventually the tubing ripped off the front face. So here's a good one, here's a bad one. Remember, always use your button to insert tubing and to pull out tubing. Never use your hand to yank the tubing out. So once we get it through the blood pump, it goes through the venous chamber, hooks to our dialyzer. Air is our enemy. We don't want air in here. We don't want air in here. If for some reason I let this bicarb go dry and air gets into the system, rinse the machine. That will be the best thing possible for you because in the long run, whether you have it or the next person has it, you will have problems running this machine. So remember, all the things we talked about, your dial state being set up correctly, it's not a default setting. If somebody sets this up, a doctor can run an order for a higher bicarb. It's fine, the doctor has the right to do that. But if I change this to 42, tomorrow when I start up the machine, it'll still be on 42. We have to check this every time we load a patient. Before we put the patient on, we need to make sure we're in the right acid, we're in the right sodium and bicarb settings so that we have our things correct and that things are running correctly. So again, 138, we have a 13.8, we're looking for 13.8, we got 13.7, we're good to go. And everything on this machine is uh, functioning well. Now one last thing I will show you is that if I take this acid and I plug it into the machine, when you first start, your machine looks like this, okay? you're able to go into cleaning functions or treatment functions. So you have CRT, which is SLED, or dialysis, or you can do rinse, heat, you know, uh, bleach. But this is your last disinfect, okay, right here. If you press disinfect log, then you will be able to go in and see all the different disinfects that were done in this machine. But right now it's telling you the last one. So the last one was done on 310. So you look at your watch, you say it's the 11th, it's good, I'm within 48 hours. But if it wasn't within 48 hours, you need to go through a disinfect before running a patient. And there's two ways, there's heat and there's bleach. Heat is the easiest, everybody's heat, heat disinfected the machine, but when you go through heat, it takes time to cool down. How quickly do you need this machine? If you have to cool down, because you went through heat, you're going to be slower to get this machine. But if you go through bleach, the minute you get a negative test on your strip, you're ready to use the machine. So just some FYI for you on the Fresenius 2018.